welcome to the 2012 Drennan Knockout Cup Final. For the two anglers fishing today, Rob Wootton and Simon Willsmore, this really is the big one. They've battled against some of the country's top anglers to make it here to Docklow Falls where we hold the two day final, where one of them will be crowned the champion and take home a cheque for £5,000. As in previous years, we are once again using the match pool for day one and Mickey Mouse Lake for day two. In the run-up to this event, the lads have been down here practicing with beautiful, glorious sunshine, you know, flat calm conditions. They've actually caught shallow on a variety of other tactics. Um, but as, you know, as today's come around, we've had incessant rain, it's absolutely hammered down. The roads outside the complex are even flooded, it's been that bad. You're talking halfway up your car door, it's that bad. But obviously, the venue's received an awful lot of, uh, a lot of rain, so that will change things for the two guys. They've got to think on their feet today in order to come out on top. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we kick the match off at 11. It's approaching half one, so we're nearly halfway through the match. Thankfully, the rain has stopped, so obviously the lads' brollies are down now, so hopefully they can really get the reds down and start concentrating on the fishing. So, what's happened so far, Joe? Um, it's been it's a really good match, actually. Uh, Rob started on a feeder, and he's, he had a good little start. A little pellet feeder? Yeah, a little pellet feeder tied to the island. Um, and then he's gone on the pole shallow, and he's catching like F1, Zod carp, that sort of thing. Uh, Simon's just sticking up, plugging away on the method, tight to the island. And he's not catching as many fish as, as Rob, but he's catching better fish. Um, but it's tip for tat at the minute, I think it's probably, they've probably both got 33, 34 pounds. Because normally there's actually a role reversal with them, because if you were to pick anyone, you'd put Rob on the feeder and sign the pole, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're actually doing opposite, opposite things. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny because where size fishing, he's got an overhanging willow there, and he's actually got quite an awkward cast yeah, there. Yeah, he's really having to punch his feeder low to get it underneath the thing, to get it tied to the island. Um, he's, but he's, you know, he's doing a nice job of it. He's had a few little catastrophes, but he's got, he's got round. He's got keeping his head. So. Yeah, that's the most important thing in these big matches, isn't it? Just yeah. to keep your head straight. So, yeah. obviously, Rob's catching shallow now. Mm -hmm. he's, he's just slapping a pellet, isn't he? Just pinging a few six mil pellets. Yeah, he's feeding really frugally. He's, you know, three or four pellets. He's slapping and tapping, and a bit of a mixture. So the neck and neck. Yeah. What sort of weights they each got? Thirty-four pound-ish. That's right. <laughs> pretty accurate. <Yeah. laughs> um, but I think they're going to need 80, 90 pound by the end. Cause yeah. There's some big fish in here and I think they'll catch them. And obviously whatever happens today, whatever de a, a deficit one of them has, mm. it could still all change again it's tomorrow. All to, yeah, it's, it's all to play for on that other lake. It's, you know, brilliant lake, so. Brilliant, well, we'll let's see. keep an eye on them. Yeah. Let's see what happens. So, there's about an hour in the match left to go. How's it going so far, Rob? Well, I'm not too sure, mate. I can't really see Si. Um, I know he's catching a few carp in the edge. I've started to get a few more F1s shallow now, but the margin line hasn't gone how I thought it'd go yeah. tonight, mate. I see you catch a few, you know, just two or three fish on it, and then you've yeah. had to go back long and just I nicking off. I have not got, you know, the, the wind flowing into it. Yeah. Quite a lot of Simon has, but you know, I'm, I'm hoping they'll come sort of in this last hour. Keep feeding it. Hopefully, hopefully I'll catch a few. So you see your match finishing down the edge, maybe with some. Yeah, hopefully anyway. 
Si is putting a few fish together down the edge just over there, but he is fishing a bit longer than you down yeah. that side. You can't see so far up that left, can you there? No, I can't. Alright, mate, good luck. Stick Thanks at mate. it. Now, each of the anglers on this competition are allowed to use a runner. Rob's chosen not to bring one, but Simon has chosen to have the help of Welsh International Lee Edwards. So, how's his match going, do you think, then? It's going to the plan that he's wanted to go to, you know, he's pretty much alternating between the method feeder and, and down the edge and he's just alternating the two really. It seems to be one or two fish and then swap and then go down the yeah. edge and just tit for tat that way, you know. And so, how, how big are the fish he's had down the edge? Well, say for instance on a method is 12 ounces, mm -hmm. the, the F1 is at about two pound down the edge, but none nice. of these big, the big fish which is the peg is known for coming yeah. in, you know, he yeah. just don't seem to be feeding today, so. So does he feel confident going into the last hour? I, I think so, yeah, you know, I'm trying to keep him informed and it seems <laughs> tit for tat between Simon and Rob, like, so, you know, yet again, it's another good final, you know. Yeah, I really do think it's going to be a close finish. Yeah, yeah, undoubtedly, it's all down to tomorrow, I think. Yeah, brilliant, I'll let you get back to all it. Right, Cheers. Si. Yeah. Day mm -hmm. one catch, 63 pounds. Yeah. So Rob's just weighed in, he's had 93. How, yeah. how do you feel about the deficit going into day two? Well, anything can happen still. It depends possibly who draws the island peg, because that has the potential from what I've seen in the past to throw up yeah. a decent weight. I mean, last year Gary Miller actually won, I mean, Lee drew the island peg, didn't he? Gary's on the other one. Well, that's true, yeah. And Gary actually beat Lee. So. There's more lilies and stuff now. Yeah. It's a bit more sort of caged in by the lilies, so. Yeah, obviously, really, my edge peg let me down. Yeah. Didn't get any bigger fish down there, which I was hoping for, which probably were the difference. Yeah, Lee, um, sorry, Rob's had a few better fish, hadn't he, down the side there? Yeah, 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 I mean, from what I've been told, yeah. I mean, I caught a few fish on the feeder. I did catch a few F1s down the edge and stuff, but really, I'd fed it, and I was, I was sort of expecting to catch a few bigger mirrors. Yeah. You know, because this, this bay here with this cover, yesterday in the match they caught odd sort of six, seven pound fish right. at the end down the edge and I was really confident I was going to sort of catch what I could on the method for as long as I could and then hopefully top up with some bigger fish down the edge, just try and fish sort of to my strengths yeah, out yeah. rather than fish pellets sort of shallow like Rob has, sort of try and fish a bit, sort of how I sort of felt I could get a a good way. You know? Well you've had to chop and change a lot to keep the fish coming down. Yeah, you're on the, the method you get a couple then you have to come down it. the edge. And yeah. Also on the method really I've used a reasonable size feeder and I was looking hopefully to catch a run of fish late on that as well but that hasn't sort of happened you know what I mean like you say I had to come off it go yeah. back on it. If I stuck it's at it nothing yeah. happened. And there's been a bit of line in the tree in the water as well which has cost me two or three fish but nothing to make a major difference. So, no. But yeah, tomorrow's another day, we'll see what happens. Well that's it. Let's see how Rob's uh, match went and let's see what went to plan for him. Well done Rob. Brilliant. Cheers mate. Just over 93 pounds for a day one win. Yeah. Very well done. How do you feel going into day two with the 30 you know 30 pound ahead? Um to be honest, it's mixed. Obviously it's great to have a, a good start. Um but I know the pegs are so different tomorrow that yeah. that could be wiped out, you know, in the first couple of hours. So don't get me wrong, I'd take it, I'd take it before the start, but yeah, it, it's, I think it's all on the draw really still. So where do you fancy tomorrow, island peg or in the open water? I think it depends on the conditions, if the, if the wind's blowing into that island, that could, that'll be a good spot, but if, the, if the, um, I think if it's a calm day, the wind's not catching the lake, he wants to be on there, the open water peg. Okay, that's where Gary won it last year. And... Yeah, it just, seems, it just seems to be more consistent, I think. Right, well, 30 pound ahead, it's a great start, yeah. so good luck for tomorrow. Cheers mate, cheers. cheers.
Okay, that's it. Okay, after an epic two-day battle, we can now announce that the Drennan Knockout Cup champion 2012, Mr. Rob Woodson, with a fantastic performance, accumulated total of 192 pounds 10 ounce. But on my right hand side, commiserations, but also congratulations. Jeez, Very well done for getting this far. You've made the semi-final three times. Just talk me through what's gone through your head today. Um, well, I had a pretty good start, and it looks sort of that I could have been in with a chance after an hour, hour and a half because that car been big straight away so I knew it was a sort of tall order to catch up 30 pound on Rob because he's such a good angler and it's, it's a good venue so you know I was doing okay to start with and uh, and then it just sort of slowed up towards the end but hand on heart I sort of felt that it wasn't really going to be enough. Yeah I think we all knew it's quite quite a lead to pull back but I think you got in twitching when you started catching them the carp on the gravel bar there. Yeah, 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 that was good fun. I think in, in all honesty that forced Rob to do to change his match slightly in order to keep keep the lead. Yeah. So yeah. you you had him running, then with an hour and a half to go, it's kind of dried up a little bit for you, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, dried up. I was, I was sort of I needed to catch against the island some big bigger carp, and they didn't turn up. And I could keep catching odd fish on the bar, but it yeah. wasn't really sort of happening in terms of you know it was never really going to kick off properly. And, yeah. And give me that sort of big weight that I needed I suppose but you know I've enjoyed both days and good. it's been good. But what I'd like to say is thank you very much for being such a big part of this event it's um, you've done fantastically well to make it to the final this time um, and we shall see you again in this next year. Yeah. What I would like to do is invite Gary Barkley of Drennan to invite you um, to invite him to present the £500 runner-up check. Simon well done, well done for making this far and uh, just uh, £500 for you. Thank you. Thanks to Peter, thank you. It's a pleasure. Brilliant, well done Simon. Yeah, well done to Rob. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, so on to the 2012 Knockout Cup champion Rob Wooten, finishing with £192.10 ounce over the two days. Fantastic performance. Just talk me through your match today, please. Um, I've not really had a, a set point. I've set up a couple of two, three lines where I thought at some point during the match we're going to have to use them. Started on a waggler. Um, I know it's been loads of fish have been caught on a waggler before on this lake, but only caught tiny fish and I could see fish boiling all the time for casters at yeah. sort of like five six meters as soon as I've gone on that line it was just solid roach I've had two chub on it but mainly roach and the massive roach here I mean I've had 63 pound of silvers on, on that line and that's by far my biggest weight of silvers and I'm sort of catching them almost you know one a minute every, at, at points well you said if you stayed on them you probably could have caught if, 100 pounds if I'd have seen like you say <laughs> Simon I could see Simon's blue laggy stretching all over the place of carp after carp in the middle of the match and like you say it's forced me to it's forced me to change uh, tactics and yeah. target a few carp 100 pounds on the cards of silver is easy yeah, yeah. if I carried on but you know how it is with silver you plod along and at the end of the match you lift out your neck thinking you've got a load and you You've not got hard, half of what you thought, so but it's those fish are, way today. They, yeah, they certainly weigh well today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you think over the two days has give you that winning edge? I don't know, mate. You need loads of luck. Look, you, I'm against uh, Simon Wills Moore. He's, you know, class really. He's, you know, top well, draw. I've, I've watched Simon, it. you know, read articles for 10 years about Simon. You know, he's really good. Um, so you need a bit of luck. We don't know the venue brilliantly, so I don't know what pegs, whether one peg's better than the other, but it could have been I've been on a better peg than Simon both days, or Simon's Simon struggle, or you just don't know. You just don't know. I just, you know. A combination of many factors. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. And what about your choice not to have a runner? How do you think that's affected your match? Well, I, I, I chose to have a runner, but he's had to work <laughs> today, so he couldn't make it. But um, the, the way that's affected my match is I can go in with all the money because I don't have to give him a share. So that's that's affected my match quite well. Right, brilliant. Well, <laughs> what I'd like to do, obviously, five thousand pounds are richer thanks yeah. to Drennan's sponsorship. Um, you know, it's thanks to them that we can run this event. So I'd like yeah. to invite once again Gary Barkley of Drennan uh, to present you with your cheque and the winner's trophy, and I'll let you relish the moment. Cheers, mate. Many congratulations. Thanks, well Cheers, done. Cheers, well mate. fished. A little trophy for you. Yeah, brilliant. And a cheque for five thousand pounds. Brilliant. Thanks so, a lot. Okay. Super Rob. Yeah. Well done. Well, Cheers, mate. Brilliant. Money. Okay. Well, it's a sad time, I'm afraid that's it once again for the Drennan Knockout Cup. Our sincere thanks goes out to all of the venues who've hosted each of the rounds along the way, as well as Docklow Pools right here who've hosted an absolutely awesome final for Robertson and Simon Wilsmore. 
all the anglers along the way have put in an awful lot of time, preparation and practice and also it's cost them an awful lot of money so it's, your, it's our thanks to you that this event can happen. In addition to that, a massive thanks must go to Drennan International who've sponsored this event to the tune of £10,000. Thanks once again, we'll see you same time next year.